Screencasting is a must for our remote learning. And even when we get back in our face-to-face, because we still have kids being transit with COVID, they're having to quarantine, or the whole class is having to quarantine, this is a great way to make sure our students are staying up to date, what's going on in our classroom, we can close those gaps, and they're able to always access this information. Because remember, these students are YouTubers and TikTokers. They love these instructional videos. They watch them all the time. They pause and they play. They hit play on the video, they go back and rewind it, they go back and practice. This is where they're learning how to do a lot of things on YouTube and TikTok. And when we're creating these videos, we want to get straight to the point. Don't waste any time. They don't like you to do a long, drawn-out video. Get straight to the point of what you're trying, the point you're trying to make in the video, and you'll keep their attention. So you're going to use whatever your favorite screencasting tool is to create your instructional videos, I recommend it not being no longer than five minutes at a time. So Screencastify is one tool that I use. You can see here in Screencastify, you can set up a teacher account. You can record your video up for five, up to five minutes. And you can crop, edit, trim, blur, add text, delete things, zoom in, zoom out, and add media here to your screencast. Also, a feature that they have is you can even add questions to your screencast. So if I want to add questions here, I can just click the little question box down here and I can add questions down here with answers and choose the correct answer for my students to respond and it's time stamp. So you can definitely personalize the learning for your students by using a screencast. But this is why we recommend that you use screencasts, whether you're in a remote virtual hybrid or in your brick and mortar. This is just giving your students more options to stay up to date what's going on in your classroom as we're battling through COVID.